Heard it just a short time ago, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo announcing the county jail will release about a thousand inmates. The goal is to prevent the coronavirus from spreading behind bars. But there are some exceptions. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold is live tonight in our newsroom with a breakdown. Robert? Yeah, Chris, first of all, that release is not exactly a done deal. A lot of information just happened within the last hour. So you're going to bear with me, and I apologize for having to look down to read my notes, but I want to make sure I have everything right. The order that Judge Hidalgo was talking about, first of all, is not final. It's still being tweaked and has not yet been signed by Judge Hidalgo. But as I understand it, that this order would refer to non people accused of nonviolent crimes who have no violent crimes in their past they that order would instruct the sheriff to come up with a list of inmates in the Harris County jail with, who are not charged with a violent crime who have no violent past and then that list would be sent to the DA's office the courts the office of court administration to be reviewed on that also on that inmates who who would not not be included are those who have protective orders currently in place those who have three or more DWIs or those who have committed burglary or are charged with burglary at this point. Again, that would apply to about 1,000 to 1,200 inmates, but that's not final at this time. Now, in tandem with this, you have this federal lawsuit that is seeking the release of about 4,000 inmates, arguing the only reason these inmates are in jail is because they cannot afford the bail that has been set in their cases. Well, the attorneys representing that class of inmates filed uh, a motion for emergency emergency protection with the federal courts last week saying that because of the COVID crisis, they want the judge to make this emergency order to release these inmates for their own safety and for the safety of the greater public. There was a hearing on that that just wrapped up about five minutes ago. No decision was made. No ruling was given by the federal court judge. Another hearing will take place on that issue on Friday. Now, that lawsuit was actually filed last year, but again, it kicked into high gear when the attorneys for these inmates said the COVID crisis makes it more immediate, the need to release these inmates. But again, a federal judge has not ruled on that point. Now, when I spoke with Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez yesterday, he point blank said he does not support a mass release of inmates, but he was very clear in saying that he does need the jail's population to decrease. Right now, the jail population is around 7,900 inmates. And the reason he said that, now that they have at least one inmate who has tested positive for COVID, he said he got about 30 others that are showing symptoms and they're awaiting those test results. He is concerned that if he doesn't drop that jail population, it's going to be very hard to stop the spread of COVID in the jail because he said just by the nature of a jail, it's very hard to maintain social distancing. But again, he does not support uh, a mass release. Also, Chief Acevedo, Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo, also waded into this federal lawsuit. He filed a declaration today and he wrote, we are in unprecedented times for our country, state, and Harris County. The men and women that serve on the police department here have risked their lives to protect and serve during these trying times. The police department is working on limited resources. Right now, he says, based on my training experience and understanding of the current circumstances on the ground, I believe such a mass release of felons would not only fail to serve the public interest, but furthermore, make our streets less safe. So now you have Houston police chief also saying he does not support a mass release of inmates. Of course, this is all still fluid, and we're going to keep you updated as new information comes about. Reporting live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, a lot to sort through there for sure. More